International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia is now in session. Loading to Tribunal Penal International, Police Yugoslavia, at the Vert. Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. Would the registrar please call the case? Good afternoon, Your Honor. This is the contempt case of Milan Topajic. Case number IT 955-18R77.2. I am presiding Judge Ogun Kwan in the 12 Chamber 3. Uh, I have been designated to hear this initial appearance of Mr. Tupaich. Before we proceed further, I would like to apologize for everyone for the delay which was caused by the technical difficulties which were not fixed yet. So we'll do without the live note if unless parties oppose to it. First, I would like the counsel appearing for Mr. Tupaic to now introduce himself. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, Eugene O'Sullivan for Mr. Tupaic. Good afternoon, Mr. O'Sullivan. Although the Chamber decided to prosecute this matter itself, pursuant to Rule 77D2, the prosecution has also been given the option to attend this hearing, if it so wishes. I see that Mr. P the prosecution is also present here today. Could I have the appearances? Yes, Mr. D uh, Mr. Uh, President Alan Teager appearing. Mr. Tupite, I would now like to ask you whether you are able to follow the proceedings in a language that you understand. Are you receiving the interpretation into your own language? Yes, Mr. K uh, Kwan, I am receiving interpretation. Thank you. I first have to go through certain formalities. I'd first like to ask you to state your full name. Yes, I'm Milan Tupaich. I am Milan Tupaich. Thank you, Mr. Tupait. And your date and place of your birth, for the record. I was born on the 2nd of June, 1954, at Knezhina, uh, municipality of Sokolac. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tupait. You were transferred to the United Nations Detention Unit in The Hague yesterday, i.e. 15th of December 2011. And can I take it that your family is aware of that transfer? Upon my arrival to the detention unit, I briefly contacted my wife uh, so that she is aware of my whereabouts. Thank you. I would like to check as well that you have received a copy of the order in lieu of indictment dated 30th of November 2011 in your own language and that you have understood it, its content. Yes, I received it and I fully understood it. Now you are represented here today by Mr. Eugene O'Sullivan. Are you satisfied with your representation here today? Well, I 
had the chance to speak to Mr. Sullivan twice, and for the time being, I'm satisfied. How things will develop, I don't know, but I expect uh, the situation to remain unchanged. Thank you. Mr. Tupac, you are being charged with one count of contempt for refusing to comply with the Chamber's first subpoena at testificandum issued on 23rd September 2011 and the second subpoena at testificandum issued on 3rd of November 2011. After you failed to comply with the first subpoena, the Chamber, having found that your reasons put forth in your response did not constitute a just excuse justifying your non-compliance with the subpoena, issued a second subpoena, but you continued to refuse to comply. So can I now ask that it is still your position today, Mr. Tupaich? If necessary, we may go into private session. I don't think that my reply requires private session. I maintain that the reasons that I stated before the subpoena was served, and I stated them to the OTP in writing, and I also gave them to Mr. Tigger orally, as well as other reasons that I did not put in writing are justified uh, and um, constitute a uh, valid um, foundation for my decision. So we continue with this initial appearance, Mr. O'Sullivan. Now, Mr. O'Sullivan, the accused is entitled to have the indictment read out in, in court. Does Mr. Tupaich wish the order in lieu of indictment to be read out now, or does he waive that right? Your Honor, I will, I will defer to Mr. Tupaich uh, on, on, this, on this point. M Mr. Tupaich, you are entitled to have the indictment read out in, in this courtroom now. Do you like that order in lieu of indictment to be read out now? Yes, I'm not. I understood the order fully, and as for me personally, there's been, there is no need for it to be read out. If it is, however, required uh, for the public, I do not oppose that. Thank you. I, I don't think it's necessary. Now, pursuant to Rule 62A3 of our Rules of Procedure and Evidence, Mr. Tupaich, you can enter a plea to the charges of contempt set out in the order in lieu of indictment today, if you so choose. Or you can decide to postpone your plea for a period of up to 10 days in accordance with the Rule 77E. Did you discuss this with your counsel? And how do you wish to proceed? I have spoken uh, to uh, counsel about this. We spoke today. But I took my decision earlier, in 2009 and inform the OTP in writing. I believe that a copy of this letter of mine to the OTP should be available. Since June 2009, I have not changed my decision and couldn't change it either, and I stand by it still. Uh, I don't think you understood my question. Uh, I, I was asking whether you would like to plead today or postpone it up to, to 10 days. 
Are you prepared to plead to the charges? I wish to uh, uh, state my plea today. Uh, Mr. Tupac, if you could rise, please. Mr. Tupaych, you are charged with contempt of court under Rule 77A3 of the Tribunal's Rules of Procedure and Evidence. How do you plead? I'm not sure I heard the interpretation. Could you repeat your answer? No. Uh, I plead innocent. Thank you. P please be seated. I would ask the registrar to record your plea of not guilty. Uh, Mr. Tupaych, in light of the nature of the charge against you and all the circumstances, it is in your interest to have this matter resolved as quickly as possible. Given your plea, this means setting a date for the trial, which should be a short hearing of no more than a day or two, following which the chamber will issue its judgment. At that trial, you will be entitled to call witnesses, and you may choose to testify yourself. This is all for you to discuss with your counsel. So, uh, therefore, I would like to ask you, Ms. Uh, uh, ask you through your counsel, how long you consider you will need to prepare for the trial, Mr. S O'Sullivan. Your Honor, may I request that we move into a uh, private session very briefly? Very well. Could the Chamber move into a private session? Go back in open session. Thank you. As this is a contempt case, and I do not believe that there are any issues of disclosure or that these proceedings should be prolonged unnecessarily, should you wish to file any preliminary motions, you should do so within 10 days from today in accordance with Rule 77E. Do you understand that, Mr. Tupaych? Does he? Yes. However, I need uh, assistance by a uh, by an attorney, because I'm not a lawyer, although I did learn much uh, uh, through my participation in proceedings here. But I cannot afford to hire a lawyer of my own choice, whom I would uh, be uh, able to pay. So I asked the tribunal to appoint a defense counsel uh, for me so that we can embark on that new process together. I believe that registry would pay utmost care in, in, in appointing a defense counsel for you. Uh, Mr. Tupac or Mr. Sullivan, are there any other matters to be raised today? The, um, <coughs> The only other matter, Your Honor, is, um, as I s you seem to be suggesting, is that you'll, the a trial date will be fixed. And I, it appears that this will not take place before um, the end of the, the winter recess. And therefore, I would uh, be requesting that uh, Mr. Tupaj be released and allowed to return home uh, pending the, the trial uh, in, in this matter. I would prefer to have it in writing. Yeah. Could you do that? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. 
I wonder whether you can put in in writing in a motion for provision yes. release. Yes, I can immediately with all the formalities. Yes, thank you, Mr. Tupaj. Do you have anything to raise with the chamber before we adjourn the proceedings? Well, I don't really have any matters to raise. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, have the opportunity to uh, acquaint uh, the trial chamber with all uh, relevant facts. I don't want you to get the impression that I'm doing all I can to uh, to not to appear here uh, before uh, this uh, court. And that's um, all that I have, actually. Then, uh, Mr. Tiga, do you have any observation? I know, Mr. President, as the court noted, I was here on the off chance that uh, some contextual or background information might um, be helpful, but I, I don't have anything uh, to add at this time. Very well. That said, uh, considering the court schedule of the tribunal, the chamber will issue a scheduling order for the trial in due course and will consider the motion if filed by Mr. O'Sullivan. The he hearing is now adjourned. All rise. Vive le vote.